Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And today I'm in Luminar Neo, and I'm happy to show off the new AI Assistant. It is available now. I have a beta copy. I'll be showing you what it looks like and how it works and talking about what you need to know about this new tool. In short, it's pretty cool. It's helpful. It's a great education and learning tool. And I'll kind of walk through that in this video. And uh, we'll be covering this landscape photo. So uh, in order to have this, you have to have an active subscription or have purchased the upgrade pass. And in order to update your app, as you probably know, you go to the Luminar Neo and click uh, check for updates. And uh, that ought to take care of it for you. If you have any questions about whether you have the appropriate uh, license or pass, you can check in your Skylum account on their website or email their support team at support at skylum.com. Let me show you how it works. Now, a few things to be aware of. Um, it is a text-based, kind of like talking to chat GPT. We can just go in and ask it questions, ask it to help you do things. There's kind of two types of queries you can make. There's like an action-based, where it can actually take action for you. And there's also like guidance-based, where it essentially makes recommendations. I'll show you an example of both. Um, on this photo, uh, I've already straightened it and cropped it. And I want to, first thing I want to point out is you do have to have an active internet connection because it is going to the internet, uh, to the cloud, and saying, hey, help me uh, execute this command, right? So you need to have an active uh, internet connection in addition to, of course, having the proper license. Uh, but this AI Assistant will work either in the Presets menu or in the Edit menu. I'm going to stay in the Edit menu. And if you look in this bottom right-hand corner, there's a little uh, quote bubble, for like for a better term, and that's the AI Assistant. I can click it to open it, and I can expand it with that menu. And you can see it, it says here two different kind of prompts. Action prompts, which the first two examples here, enhance this photo or turn this photo black and white, those are action prompts. Uh, and the other two are effectively guidance prompts where it will tell you or make some suggestions, but it doesn't do that for you. Now, I also want to point out this is only at this time working on single images. It doesn't work in batch. And also there's certain tools it doesn't work with, and I need to read those. Things like erase and background removal and light depth, it can suggest how to use them, but it doesn't apply them automatically. So just keep that in mind. But I will show you it can apply a lot of stuff automatically. Okay, so what I want to do now is show you uh, one of these action-based queries. Uh, enhance this photo. You can type things down here, or you can just click. These four are clickable. So I'm going to click Enhance this photo and see what it suggests. And as you'll see, it comes up with this little text that says it's thinking, which again, it's going to the cloud, and it's going to come back and offer me three different suggestions. Okay, and here we are. Let me expand that menu so it's a little bit easier to see. You can see you get a preview of each of these suggestions in terms of what it will look like on your photo. And each one is detailed below. It talks about what it's recommending doing to the photo. Edit one, edit two, edit three. Those correspond with these three edits up top. I'm gonna go ahead and click. You can click this. So it's kind of like suggesting a preset, for lack of a better term. I'm gonna click this middle one, which is edit two. You can see that it says, further enhancements are applied, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And what it will do, it will take those suggested edits, apply them to my photo, and give me an editing starting point. There it is. Now, that's a little much for me, although it pretty much looked like that in real life. Uh, but the cool thing is, is you can uh, also shrink this menu. You can click that close that maintains the chat. The chat is still there, by the way, right? Uh, I just close the menu. To reset the chat and start over, I can hit that back arrow, but I don't want to do that because what I want to show you is it's now applied those edits to the photo, and of course those edits are visible and editable further up here in the Edits tab. You can see everything that's been applied to this photo, and you can go in and make further refinements. So if you want to get rid of the glow, for example, you can just get rid of that. Maybe I'll get rid of the atmosphere and I'm gonna go down to develop, and I'm gonna brighten it a little bit. I'm gonna pull, uh, actually keep the contrast, pull the highlights down, maybe lift the shadows a little bit more, maybe give it a tiny bit more accent AI and a little bit less in the sky. Let me jump back up here. That looks a little bit more like what I was going for. And so you can see it gave me a great editing starting point with one click, and all I did, well, two clicks, I guess technically I clicked on enhance this photo, and then I clicked on the suggested preset, I'm calling it. And there you go. And you get a nice looking uh, overall visible uh, edit to your photo. Now from here, you can do whatever you normally do. You could save this as a preset, which as you know, you do down here and click save as preset. 
um, or you can come in and add more tools, edit, refine, whatever, whatever it is to your taste. I also want to point out something uh, really important, important here, which is if you come in here and say, okay, I've got that, that looks great, but if you add another prompt, it does not build on the existing one each time, and that's at this time, right? This may change over time, but it's not iterative or it doesn't build. You can't build edit upon edit upon edit. So if you start out by saying, please brighten the foreground, and then you come back and say, please reduce the highlights in the sky or boost the saturation, it's gonna remove the original query of brighten the foreground. So it doesn't build and build and build and build. It just does one thing. It always goes back to the original base photo. So keep that in mind. Again, that may change over time, and this is beta, so things are gonna change probably, but I just want you to be aware of that, that it's not essentially gonna edit for you at this time. It's probably gonna get there to where it's gonna become a very interesting and powerful tool. Right now, I think it does a good job, uh, but it doesn't have the ability to do that. It also does not work with like the, uh, the generative tools, the merge tools, or the enhancement tools that are available in the catalog view. So just keep that in mind as well. But bottom line, I mean, I've got a pretty nice looking photo. Now, if I wanna uh, reset this chat, let me go back to the bigger view. I'm gonna reset this chat. What it's gonna do, it's gonna wipe out what this chat says, but it's not gonna wipe out my edits. So if I like those edits, save it as a preset, but I can come down now and click turn this photo black and white and we can try that. So once again, a single click and it's gonna do its thinking, which is again, going to the cloud. So keep that in mind, have to have an active internet connection. And here we go, we've got three more results, each of them with details, edit one, edit two, edit three, and each of them clickable as well. Let's say I pick this first one and it's gonna go and apply that to the photo. Now, that's a, that's a nice look, and again, it's something that I would wanna customize. So I like to minimize by clicking that X to get that screen out of my way, uh, or that, uh, that chat window out of my way, and I'm gonna make some uh, minor adjustments here. I'm not a big fan of film grain, uh, but I am a fan of uh, contrasty, powerful uh, black and white, so I'm actually gonna lift the shadows a little bit, maybe add a tiny more contrast, maybe put on the highlights, let me see what that does for me. That makes it pretty nice. Maybe I'll stick a little Accent AI on it and maybe a little Sky Enhancer. And in a couple of clicks, my friends, I've got a powerful and I think beautiful uh, contrasty kind of intense black and white. And all I did was click a couple of buttons, right? Um, so that's how it works. Now I wanna show you these guidance tools. I'm gonna hit reset. And let's say, how do you remove distractions? These last two are examples of guidance uh, suggestions where they're gonna tell you some tools that you can use but it's not gonna do it for you because it can't read your mind. So how to remove distractions, if I click that, my edit doesn't go away. It's gonna come back and say, hey Jim, here's a couple of things you can use to remove distractions. It's probably gonna recommend the erase uh, tool and maybe clone and stamp is my guess. That seems pretty logical. And here we go, erase and clone, yeah. So that kind of makes sense. The cool thing is, is uh, number one, it doesn't do this for you, as I said, because it just tells you the tools that, uh, that you would use but it doesn't know what I consider a distraction. Maybe it's that car, maybe it's those power lines, but you can go into the erase tool just by clicking here where it says erase and it opens the erase tool and you can kind of go do that. So that's how that works as well. Those are the guidance prompts, whereas the first two that I showed you, which were the, uh, let me reset this query, reset. The first two, enhances photo, turn it black and white, uh, those are action prompts. So just keep in mind, there's kind of different types. And again, anything that you want to put in here is viable. Uh, just try the different tags. It may or may not come up with great suggestions, but it's just a conversational tool to help you figure out how to get better at editing in Luminar Neo, which as you know, I'm all about that because I love editing and I'm always trying to get better and sharing tips and tricks here to help you get better as well. So that's a high level kind of getting started overview of the new AI Assistant. Be sure and check out my free editing guide for Luminar Neo at the link down below. Be sure and update your app if you have the upgrade pass or a subscription, you'll be able to get this right away. And if you need to get Luminar Neo, there's a link down below as well with a coupon code to save you a few bucks. That's my overview, my friends, what you need to know. Have fun with it, I'm having fun with it. It's fun chatting with these chatbots and trying to figure out what I can do to make my photos better. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. You guys take care and until next time, adios.